Alright, this is a response to CarRack 2's video about repairing the Flycam Digital SLR Nano. Um, I, was, I got one from eBay and uh, it had the same issue. It was balanced when it was in a forward position like this. So when you first got it, I balanced it out and it was fine, but as soon as I turned it around, what would happen is it would start tilting in one direction, maybe towards me and maybe at like a three quarter position like this. It would do the same thing, it would tilt in a funny position, maybe go back a little bit. As soon as I put it back forward, it would be balanced again. Uh, Tarek's solution was to buy some uh, golfing lead tape and uh, just to counterbalance the gimbal right there, this puppy. So I went to uh, Golf Master or this little golf place. I'm sure there's tons of golf places all across America you can get some of this. And I just got some of this. It's just a little little thing of lead tape. They say you should wash your hands after you use it. It just looks like that. Real simple. And all I did was, um, was apply just, uh, just two strips, maybe two inch strips to the, to the front. Um, as you can see right there. Ugh. Yeah, man, it's such... I put some I put some gaffer's tape over it so you can't really see. But basically, when it was in the backward position like that, and it was leaning towards me, told me that the uh, the gaffer's tape or the the lead tape needed to go up to the front of the gimbal. So when I added it, it added some weight to the gimbal, and then it's it's perfect. Um, and it's yeah, it's so much so much nicer. These things are not that difficult to balance either, uh, as you can see from the forward position like this. Just spin it around. It's just really, really nice. They call this dynamic balance rather than just a static. And this is a uh, some pretty heavy equipment here on here. I have a, a Nikon Nikkor 16 to 35 uh, f/4 lens with a VR, pretty hefty lens. And this is a D7000, and then a hood eye with a 3x magnification and a Rode microphone. And this thing can definitely handle it and definitely handle some more. So if I put a heavier lens on it, I think it should be fine, but this is going to be the primary lens I'm using. But as you can see, I mean, it just takes everything that you can give to it. It's pretty good. Um, I'm still getting used to it. This is only my second day using it, so it might not be perfectly balanced, but it looks really good for a unit that's under $200 that you can get on eBay. So uh, thank you so much, Carac, for um, giving us a solution. Oh, one other thing I did... Um, I did mess with these screws just a little bit. I didn't have to uh, add any uh, washers to the inside. I just loosened one and tightened the other side to to center it, and it works great. So um, just wanted to say thank you so much for the community out there. Um, definitely saving me a lot of money, giving me a great product. You don't have to send it back to India like a lot of people are doing. Just buy some of this tape. Um, in fact, if you send me a message, I will throw three or four inches, five, six inches of this tape in a letter and send it to you so you don't have to spend 10 bucks for an entire roll. You do not need all this. So go ahead and just send me a message. I'll send you five inches of it. No problem. All right. Thank you so much. Keep on doing the good work, guys.